The rangakata method function uses the rangakata numerical method to approximate the solution to a differential equation over some interval using this method. So you'll put in the differential equation again as an anonymous function of two variables t then y, as well as the initial condition and the end time, and this method will approximate the solution over that time frame. Let's look at the method. Use the rangakata method to do this. The inputs are the function f, which is an anonymous function of two variables t then y, a dt, which is the time step used for this method, tf is the final time where you want to get to the solution to, t0 is the initial time, and y0 is the initial condition in y, and this will allow you to then run this method to solve the problem. You don't even know how the method works, it's all done here if you want to look at it, but it will approximate the solution. Let's give it a shot and see what it looks like. Let's take our same function, and we'll run this method. The time step of say 0 0.5, a final time of 4, initial time at 0, initial value of 1, and we can run that. And you see we've spit out a single variable, it's a list of just the numbers from 0 to 4 with stepping size of 0.5. That seems not right, and what happened here is that the outputs from this method are the t and the y, and the t is going to be evenly spaced between t0 and tf. But what I really want here is the y value, so to get that I need to use two inputs for this function. So I can instead say give me t and y as these things, and then run it. Now I've got both things, we've got the t values, doing the normal thing, and the y values here. Which this seems to match the solution that we have up here, seeing if I start at 0, 1, it comes down a little bit and then takes off upwards. The main thing with these sorts of methods when there's multiple outputs is to make sure that you have it set up correctly to receive both outputs so you can do things with them. If you don't store these outputs anywhere, you won't have access to them later. You can also use the Runga-Kutta method to solve systems numerically, which is what the second system method here does in the folder, but I'll put that in with the video about where we're actually using that later. But this is how the runga -Kutta method works. This is how you can use this function to numerically approximate solution to differential equations using this particular method.